morning, evening, after Sherry. Uh, <laughs> it's Thursday today. And I'm sorry to post a picture of video on Tuesday. I tried to, but I had, like, a lot of technical difficulties and could not, like, get it uploaded. Like, I would record it, and then my internet would freak out as I would start to upload it. So I would try to record it again, and it was just like, ah. So I got mad, and then I gave up. Anyways, um, the Forks challenge, I'm sorry, is not happening. Because Forks is kind of, like, far away. It's kind of like if I were like, hey, you look kind of by, you know, Mackinac Island. Can you go to Mackinac Island and freak out about uh, somewhere in time while you're there? It's just not logical. Anyways, if we end up taking a, uh, a trip to the coast this summer as a family... Maybe I convince my parents to go up then, then I'll complete the challenge, but in the meantime, I think you should come up with another one. And, um, so, do that, and then I will give you your next challenge. I have it ready, and I'm kind of excited for it a lot. So, yeah. Um, made me really happy. It, I think it was in your, that short nerd video, and you had, like, you just had the camera on while everyone was talking, and it was really nice, because it was very familiar, and I don't know, I've been feeling a little bit homesick. Lately, I guess. I also redo my sonnet, but it's not done yet. And I, I hate sonnets. I had to write one for literature and performance, and I hate them. Because they're so strict. And I don't like having five beats in... I don't like having five beats. It's just... It's not right. It needs to be an even number. It's kind of like... Um, if you have you ever played Take 5, it's in 5-4. It just feels wrong. And that's kind of how like the sonnet is for me. And I don't like going da-da, da-da. Da da. I like going da 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 da. You know what I'm saying? If you don't understand, you know, whatever. I hardly understand what I'm saying right now, actually. Oh, uh, what's left on my list? Oh, yeah. Top Chef competition. I thought it was today, but it's actually on Friday. We got our secret ingredient is chocolate. So we're going to be making um, a steak with like a chocolate and wine sauce, but we don't have wine, so we're using white grape juice and lemon juice mixed together because that's supposed to be like a wine substitute or something. So that's tomorrow. I'll let you know how that goes. And, okay, I have to teach you, tell you about Mr. Hale. Mr. Hale is a teacher that I have not yet had the pleasure of having. And I guess he's really, really weird. And, like, lies about his personal information. So people don't know about him. He'll say things, like, he'll just say, oh, yeah, I live over in Terrace Heights. And then, like, the next week he'll say, oh, yeah, I live over in Toppenish. So you never know what's the truth and what's not. You don't know when he's being sarcastic or serious. And I like that. Anyways, so some people have taken up the uh, sport of hail hunting. Where they try and find out about Mr. Hale. Or like find out where he lives. Like they'll follow him and he will like notice them following him. And he'll drive out to like Moxie or something. And yeah. Anyways, I saw Mr. Hale at the grocery store today when we were picking up like beef stock and shallots and stuff. And he was buying ro uh, ground beef and olives. So we know that he eats ground beef and olives. Or his wife or family does. Or maybe he's just buying them to have. I guess you don't really know with Mr. Hale. Anyways, I will talk to you later, I guess. Yeah. That's really all I have to say. But I love you a lot.